This is a production of Cornell University. Uh, yes, thank you for having me here. Uh, my name is Daniel Heck. So I will uh, give a lightning talk about the special attributes of circospor plot of table bits and implications for disease management. Um, let me try. Yes. Um, the dominant foliar disease affecting bits is the circospor leaf spot caused by the fungus circospor reticula. The symptoms begins as small gray lesions that coalesce to encompass the entire leaves. And the disease cause, causes the reductions in green leaf area and also, which results in suboptimal root sizes and quality, and also the inability to harvest by top pool machinery. In sugar beet, it's well described that the conidia are locally dispersed uh, within fields through wind and rain. However, little is known about the long distance dispersal of the inoculum and also how this dispersion occurs in table beet fields regarding the different management systems and spacing. Thinking about this, we will explore two main questions. What is the spatial distribution of circospora leaf spot epidemics in table bit fields? And how this can affect the disease management? Uh, to investigate this, we, we evaluated 31 fields in Western New York, where linear transects uh, with 51 sampling units were assessed. Each sampling unit was composed of six leaves, which was uh, inspected for the presence or absence of the symptoms. The incidence in these fields ranged from 16 to 74, with a median of 31% of incidence. On these maps, as darker is the red color in the, in, on each sampling unit, larger is the number of diseased leaves. But only looking at these maps, we cannot uh, reach any conclusion about the distribution of the disease uh, on, this, on these fields. And because of this, we used uh, some two, two approaches of spatial pattern analysis to understand what was happening. The main difference between these two approaches is because the just statistics based uses the location uh, of the sampling unit in each analysis. And SAGE can use, can detect patterns of, of region, can detect regions inside the field with, with high or low pressure of disease. But basically both, both approaches are used to classify the fields as aggregated or random patterns. For most uh, of the analysis, most of the analysis classify the fields as aggregated. However, the pattern was random for 50% of the data sets when the location of the sampling units was included in the analysis by SAGE, which means that the clusters of diseases were randomly dispersed on these fields and can be seen in this field KF5 which the clusters of disease are randomly dispersed inside the field. This information brings important implications for disease management because it shows that mechanisms of long distance are acting to disperse the pathogen. But by this analysis, we cannot confirm which mechanisms are, but we can create a hypothesis surrounding this. For example, for the, to originate the random pattern, the inoculum could be arriving by airborne seeds, soils, uh, vectors, or also be already in the field which means that the inoculum is surviving in alternative hosts or in plant debris. After the establishment of the initial random foci, the epidemic seems, seems like uh, expanding to, to, to the neighboring plants uh, that they, where they can reach by rain splash or contact be between diseased leaves. But of course, most of these are just hypotheses and of course need to be tested. But these results uh, of this study can be used as a proxy to the development of sampling programs, spatial temporal dynamics, quantify the crop losses, and also create alternatives for the management of the disease with a focus to limit the, the dispersal of the pathogen. In this way, these approaches uh, can underpin the best strategies to manage the cost per spot in table bits. Thank you. If, if I have some temp Time for questions, and I'm, I'm happy to answer. Excellent. Uh, we might have time for one question if anyone wants to submit anything. Daniel, I may have missed this. How are how is this pathogen dispersed? Is it wind, insects, water? It's rainfall, right? Is that, so I may miss that. Yes, yes, yes. It, it's 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 basically like uh, for sugar, but this is like well known that. Uh, basically for the rain splash, but most of the studies have observed that the dispersion is 
but the rain spread is uh, in, is like in a short distance. But for the long distance, we can hypothesize, hypothesize with these results on, on, on table bits that has another mechanism that could be happening. It's like uh, recently uh, a study found that uh, the cercospora was found in, in in seeds of table bits, in non treated seeds of, ta of, ta of table bits. And also like this could be like uh, one of the responsible for this random pattern that we can see in some fields. But basically for terrain splash in the short distance. Awesome, thank you, Daniel. This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.